Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. So, uh, my apologies, I've been uh, on a little bit of a hiatus. Uh, I was uh, I was sick for a couple weeks. And life just kind of got crazy there for a little bit. So, uh, I'm good now, I'm coming out of it. I rarely get sick, but when I do, typically I get hammered. So, that being said... I've got uh, a little bit to catch up on. So, over Black Friday, I went and picked up the EcoFlow Delta Pro and uh, 400 watts of solar panels. On top of that, I got this guy for free. Alright, this is the EcoFlow River Standard, or River, uh, maybe it's River Mini, I don't know. Anyhow, um, so I got this for free with my purchase of the big Delta Pro. Um, that being said, my first thought when it came to this guy was that would be perfect for camping. So guys, I do two different kinds of camping. I do uh, primitive, you know, bushcrafting type camping. But I also uh, attend music festivals and things like that. Um, so I like to uh, have a little festive flair sometimes when I have my campsites. Uh, so I like to I like to have music. You know, we we rock out and stuff whenever we're going camping, and we like to have you know some Christmas lights and. You know, some different, uh, like, a, I have a little laser light show thing, which is pretty cool. Um, and, yeah, so there's there's a lot that, uh, a lot of things that we use when we're doing that kind of camping. Um, most of which don't really require much power. Uh, we don't have an air mattress. I have cots with the little sleep rolls on top of them, which are awesome, by the way. Um, if you want to, uh, if you want me to do like a review video on those, let me know. That being said, we're going to test this bugger out. I'm excited and I hope you are too. So without further ado, all right, so I got my DeWalt job site radio here, which I bring camping with me. So let's plug that in to start here that's plugged in and do 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 aha AC on there we go and I have a couple strands of Christmas lights plugged into the radio because the radio has outlets on the side so let's turn this thing on. I don't know if it's able to. Oh, there it is. So, you hear the white noise, so that's running. So it's saying here that it's only going to power this for one hour. So maybe. Maybe this just doesn't have the uh, type of juice that I'm hoping for, but we will see. So like I said, um, I like to play music. Obviously, we charge our phones and things like that when we're doing that kind of camping at festivals, music festivals. Uh, we have our you know fancy Christmas lights and things like that to help our campsite pop and make it nice um but i i don't think this thing's gonna do the trick guys so it says powering for one hour and it's at 90 percent so we will come back in about an hour and we'll see all right folks it's been a little over an hour and uh i'm back out here with the river mini So she seems to be sitting at about 41% with 35 minutes left to power. 
it's been running two strands Christmas lights and the radio um, it uh, this thing I, I guess it doesn't have the uh, output capabilities nor the battery capacity that I hoped it would for my particular um, plans of use. Not to say that it's a bad piece of equipment because, let's see here, unplug the Christmas and the fan kicks off. And you still have multiple hours of power. I'm thinking with just the radio and potentially a cell phone, I am thinking that this thing would probably run for about 10 hours, which isn't bad. I mean, if you're doing a minimalist type of camping, like say you went fishing all day or hiking or you went and you know, went out on the boat or something, and you came in and you just needed to charge your phone and listen to music for a couple hours, this thing would be fine. And also, keep in mind that I didn't have any sort of external uh, power source hooked up to it. I didn't have any panel, solar panels hooked up to it. I didn't have any of that. So, um, that being said, this won't work for what I was hoping it would. However, it does have its uses, like, for example, like I said, minimalist camping. Or, uh, if you needed to run a power tool out in the back 40 for some reason, and you didn't want to lug an extension cord all the way out there, you just bring this thing out and plug a tool into it and go to work. That's fine. You know, it, it this thing does have its intended uses, and... The use I had planned for it isn't one of them. But that's what these tests are for. To be able to give not only myself, but you guys as well, an idea of what this thing does, what it's capable of, what it'll run, and for how long. So, if you guys have anything else you want me to test on this, fire away in the comments. Let me know. Tell me what you want to see because um, I'm going to have to play with this thing a little bit more to be able to find out um, what I'm even going to use it for because what I had planned it's not going to work however you know I might be able to find something else with it but alright guys you got something out of this like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.